you have to be concerned because change is always inevitable and everything that survives has to evolve and reinvent itself. John Quelch is here. He is the Dean of the University of Miami Business School. Let's bring in our guest, John Quelch, who is the Dean of the Miami Business School at the University of Miami. Capitalism is under pressure. Uh, there's no doubt that there's been an erosion in the percentage of the U.S. population who believe that capitalism is for sure the best system, and there has been a corresponding increase in the number of people who think that uh, socialism uh, is an acceptable alternative. Um, to my mind, the first thing is, why is this happening? Why are we suffering uh, this uh, erosion? in uh, support. One is there's no doubt that uh, income inequality has grown in the last uh, 10 to 15 years, even as incomes have risen for all levels of uh, our society. Uh, but the gap has become much more evident. A second issue is that many of our leading business success stories these days are not people who are inventing something or making something, but they're finance people who are hedge fund managers or uh, venture capitalists or private equity investors or activist uh, investors. And the general tendency has always been, perhaps erroneously, but to view these people as not necessarily adding that much value. Uh, but rather to focus uh, our attention um, on positive business role models, um, such as, for example, uh, Steve Jobs or Bill Gates uh, and so forth, people who've really changed our lives through what they've invented. But these days, the financiers seem to be uh, assuming a large level of prominence in terms of the number of uh, business people who are becoming truly wealthy and becoming wealthy very quickly. I think uh, capitalism has always reinvented itself and uh, in the uh, face of uh, criticism uh, from uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, for example, and um, like-minded people, you know, we have to be able to uh, defend the system as being a system that, uh, while it may not be perfect, is probably better than any other system in terms of creating opportunity, creating employment, creating prosperity uh, for a broad range of people uh, in our communities. But that doesn't mean that uh, there isn't an obligation that capitalists uh, who are successful under this system have uh, to A, give back personally, and B, make sure that the corporations that they lead are also uh, giving back to the communities in which they operate and uh, developing their employees to their absolute potential, as well as taking good care of consumers by offering only safe, attractive products that uh, promote health and well-being, for example. Uh, sustainable business is absolutely essential to our continuing prosperity. Uh, it's essential to the survival of the capitalist system, and so it's very important that every company understand its obligations beyond obligations to shareholders uh, to include the broad range of stakeholders on whose success the long-term future of that corporation is going to depend. You have to be concerned because change is always inevitable and everything that survives has to evolve and reinvent itself. So we as capitalists have to put forward the best case we can for the system that we believe is the best available to uh, our communities and our people to advance their prosperity, well-being and self-worth. But at the same time, we have to reinvent it.